Hello again, this is Dr. Jerry Cuomo. I'm back with the Strom and Rescue case. Uh, we just pre-soaked for a good 10 minutes or so. Um, the screw uh, now is going to be tested since we know there's about four. Now it looks more clear that uh, we might be successful in just cleaning the head of the screw and then using the driver. So let's see if that uh, is going to work. I'm going to go ahead and get my driver now and wrench, put it all together. Um, snap that together make sure we're going in the reverse mode so it's clicking to the right and reverse so counterclockwise and um, we can also measure pressure going in reverse as well so in through the mirror it's going to look like clockwise but it's really counterclockwise and um, so here goes we're lining it up now get a good seat. That's the key is to be dead on, you know, sp spot on, I want to say, uh, with your driver. And, uh, I always wiggle it a little bit. Okay. Oh. I'm going to click it this way. You hear the click? And now we'll apply a little pressure. Sometimes, instead of stripping the head, I'm going to use a shorter uh, driver, shorter shorter shank, because um, I don't want uh, I don't want as much torque to go through the shaft. I want to get it all going to the head of the screw. So shorter shank. Let's see if it does fit. No, not quite. So it's. We got a little limitation there, so we'll have to use the longer sh longer driver. Okay, there we go. And you retract now. Good. Okay. about at 35 newtons so it's going to drop you down a little bit okay okay so we're in lock and load here we go a lot of pressure a lot of pressure and turn We got it. How about that? We got it. <laughs> That's it. Beautiful. So when you when you study what you got going, basically, um, and you realize that we don't know what's underneath there. I saw a little bit of swelling around the implant. I just said, you know what? You have to do one thing first and I think the key is this index now we can take the screw out see how it's spinning around and we can replace that screw and just hand tie but guess what we're going to take it all off clean it but there's going to be a lot of fluidity in there perhaps we can just leave this in place take the screw out clean the threads and just put a new screw in and hand tighten only and he's out of here all right so let's um, let's continue to unscrew this uh, just ever so gently. But I'm going to pre-soak it because there's probably all kinds of uh, material. I really think the pre-soaking combination of the fixing the implant to the adjacent tooth is, and without a doubt, in my mind, the best medicine for dentistry when you're doing cases like this. Now you can probably anticipate some of this clear material is going to start to darken because now we definitely established a pathway around the screw head and um, 
So studying the screw head, learning a little bit more about that, the seating of the driver, how much that's important. You can see there's a little bit of exudate coming from the side of this, this implant. So I'm going to bring that to the dentist's attention, uh, especially if they're going to do a hybrid on this tooth. Maybe perhaps, you know, get that off, clean it thoroughly and hygiene, maybe put some Arrestin or any kind of antibiotic in there uh, to help the cause. Or just water picking. Water picking does a lot, at, uh, especially with implants. So. So we're just going to continue to work on this now. We're going to use a, a driver by hand. We don't need the, the wrench anymore. We'll just use the driver, make sure it's seated. And uh, unscrew it. So now we can bring in the high-speed suction tip. This, this is where I'm going to need to use a pair of cotton pliers. Oh, she's got it. Let's take a look at that screw, shall we, Jen? Thank you. And we'll come right over here off the patient's mouth. And she's just going to rinse it out. This is a basal screw. That's pretty much the shape of a basal screw. There are the threads. No problem with the threads. And um, this is just another carbon copy of a basal screw. See, there's a little bit of a difference between these two. Um, it's a different style screw, and it's a different diameter. Interesting. So we've got a wider diameter screw, but it goes into, instead of a bone level, it's going into a tissue level. Interestingly enough, um, So this is tissue level, not bone level. So we'll look for a screw for that. Okay, so the, the main thing is we want to go down in there and clean these threads. That's interesting too. It's a different kind of a s octagon appearance down in there. So um, That's a very interesting threaded combination. I haven't really paid attention to that. The threads are part of a uh, a network, a hexagonal network. Interesting. So we're going to use, this is what we'll start off with a little bit of tartar stain. We're going to go in there and first use a micro brush. I'll have to ask my patient, how are you doing? <laughs> all right, you're doing good. So I got the micro brushes all ready to go, and then we'll go in with a go-between. So first thing, I want to look at this micro brush when I'm cleaning it out. I want to be able to check for the bad stuff, but it looks pretty clean visually. Like I said, it almost has like a, a hexagonal uh, appearance, and I've yet to see that uh, anywhere. So interesting kind of uh, implant. Very interesting. I say that because I'm a little st uh, stomped. I don't, I, I can't tell you if I've seen that before. It might have been a, a style of its own at one time. I'm going to just rinse that out now. How's that? Is any bad taste at all? Anything going on in there? We're okay? Mm -hmm. Cotton roll. Okay. When you're going in and suctioning out, just make sure you stay away from the walls. Uh, there was a little burden all the way down in the base. Let's go down and take a look way down there. That's the base. There are the threads. 
So we'll definitely take some photographs of this too. I just want to make sure everything is, is good. Now see the index is still holding well. So we can even lightly hand tighten um, any screw in there. Um, we're good. I'm going to go ahead and at this point, actually let me just demonstrate the use of this. It looks pretty clean. This is just a uh, like a bristle brush. It's a go-between. It just goes in there, comes all the way out. There's absolutely nothing on it. Uh, but we want to be sure, so take a Kleenex, a white Kleenex, and just dab that just to see if anything comes off. Nothing. Nothing coming off of that. So we know that the threads are pristine. Uh, they're uh, ready to accept another screw. And the sides and the wall of the abutment are clean. So that all being said, let's take another look, good close look at everything. It looks good. I always wonder why is there other I issues that hold screws in place. You know, it might be something on the wall. But we're just going to lightly hand tighten that in. Uh, so we'll take a little break. I'll be back with the final. Dr. Jerry Cuomo, another successful rescue case, uh, about five minutes from finishing.